Yeah. Um, I'm head of the IIS registry. It means that we are actually running two top-level domains, .se and .nu. Uh, IIS is a foundation. We don't have any shareholders. We have bylaws, which stipulates our, our work and, and the wishes. Uh, you can compare it with the, the owner of a, a normal company. They decide what the profit and other things are going into. Here we have the bylaws. Um, if we see our cctld.se, uh, there are two major events in the history. In 2003, we opened up for anybody to register whatever they wanted. And in 2009, we did adopt the register registrar model, and then we went on the EPP track. Uh, the growth has been um, the last two, three years, a little bit upside down sometimes, not a steady growth, but the last year uh, we have seen a nice growth and we are working hard with campaigns together with our registrars. So uh, there are some nice figures and um, this year will be a very good year for the TESI. Uh, in uh, in uh, the DNS sec area, we were the first uh, TLD to sign the zone, and uh, we're close to 50% now in, in total sign. I think we can reach that in the beginning of next year. Uh, also in Sweden, all the major ISPs are resolving, so the resolver side is using DNS sec. Um, so that's one of the things I'm very proud of. Uh, about the holders, uh, in total we have more than 600,000 holders. Uh, and uh, if you see here, this slide shows that it's 11% foreign gen holders. I know that in uh, the pie slice foreign companies, 9%, we, we also have a lot of foreign companies uh, owned by Swedes, so it's a typical domestic uh, domain, the .se, really domestic. The average domains by holders is uh, 2.15, and if we see what has happened uh, here, is that actually we have a lot of new com customers coming in. Uh, so. Next slide is actually showing a, a trend which we have seen the last two years. Uh, if you look here, this was the situation in February 2014, and this is the situation this year in February. Uh, this is good because we have more and more new customers buying the first domain, and we have less domainers, uh, they are decreasing. So the trend for the last two years is that the large domain holders, domainers, the PPC people, the SU people, they are cutting down their portfolios. And that's, that's good for, for a registrar, I would say. I prefer to have new customers with one domain instead of have money with a lot of domains. We have a few registrars dominating the market. Uh, as you can see in this slide, there is uh, the top five are close to 70% and the top 10, 78%. In this slide, you also can see .se Direct. When we launched the new business model 2009, uh, the holders had an offer to, to stay at .se, so we formed our own registrar. So we have a registrar in, in the market for .se, not for .nu. But for, dot, for .se, we have .se Direct, but dot, .se Direct 
don't offer any services. And uh, regarding to uh, the price in the market, the wholesale price for uh, uh, .sc domain is around 9 euros. And the market price for the top five uh, registrars are 25% above the wholesale price. Uh, .sc Direct, Direct has a much higher uh, retail price, so they are slowing down. So they used to be actually the, the largest registrar. About the market share, um, .sc is the market leader, close to 75 percent, but .com is very strong and has been for, for many years in, in Sweden. Uh, .nu is performing very well, and .nu have three primary markets. It's Sweden, Denmark, and the Netherlands, and that's because it means now in those three, uh, the, the three languages. Um, if we see the new GTLDs, um, this slide is from the end of quarter two. Uh, and at that time, there were only 11,200 Swedish holders in total for all the new GTLDs. So if we put that all together, it will be a market share around 1%. Um, and what have we seen so far? The visibility is quite uh, bad for the new GTLDs in, in Sweden. When I go to work by um, underground and, and bus, I always check all the marketing around me. And so far, I haven't seen in any marketing any company or any brand holders in, in so far using a new GLT in the URL. Uh, they are either using, the, of course, .s, but you can also see .nu for campaigns and also .com. Um, what about .stockholm? Uh, .stockholm is in the road zone, uh, but it's not launch. It's owned by the municipality of Stockholm. So in one way, I'm a shareholder of .stockholm as a taxpayer. Um, and that could also be a, be a problem for .stockholm if they want to be too commercial. I mean, it's the tax money we're talking about. So we don't know so much about the plans for .stockholm. A couple of years ago, the municipality said it, they would use it for marketing Stockholm as a city, but we don't know. Our uh, major registrars, some of them are selling the new top-level domains. Some are not, actually. The third largest uh, registrar looking into new registration are not, uh, have not uh, yet launched the new GTLDs. Uh, this is the figures a month ago, and this was then dot .club was the largest uh, new GTLD. Since then, actually it's dot .one. Dot .one uh, is our second largest registrar, one.com has dot .one also in their, in their front page. Uh, high visibility for, for their customers. So probably that's the reason why that now is the largest uh, G new GTLD in the Swedish market. Okay, before we have a short, very short break, uh, I want to mention a little bit about the Norwegian domain name market. And uh, as far as I know, the Norwegians in total are five and a half million people, and the .nu domain has around 700,000 registrations. But 
I know there are some friends from NORID, the Norwegian registry up here. So maybe you can fill in with some statistics or something you want to add so the audience know a little bit about the Norwegian domain name market. Okay. Can we get the microphone working? Here we go. Uh, yeah, great. I'm on. Um, hi, Uni from uh, Nordid. Um, first, uh, apologies from Hilde. She's coughing like uh, you, know, you don't want to know, basically. No. There's a <laughs> pneumonia not. involved. Um, um, we uh, have had a registry registrar model since uh, uh, 2000, year 2000. Uh, roughly 350 registrars. Uh, the peculiarity for our market is that uh, the 10 largest registrars hold about 73% of all the domain, all the annual domains. Okay. So we have a lot of small registrars. A lot and lot, lots and lots of those. Um, uh, DNSSEC wise, we have about 15 or so, 15, 16 registrars who, who use it actively. Fortunately, several of those are really, really big registrars. So we have some 56% of the NO zone is signed. The next challenge for us there is to get the resolver side working, which is, which is what we're looking at next. Um, um, other statistics is we have a steady 85, 86% renewal rate which is uh, which was, uh, we're quite happy with. We want to keep it there. Um, we still have a growth, uh, about four and a half percent growth last year and this year. I have uh, my my team back home have been uh, hammering on their keyboard, so I I just got the note saying that there was a four point seven percent growth between November and November. So quite happy with that. Uh, as for the new GTLDs, I can, I can only say, me too. Uh, we don't see them a lot so far. As a curiosity, just like Johanny said, I, I also saw one of the, the really new ones last week. We were at the startup fair, and uh, one of the uh, uh, one of the stand holders there, some some internet company, had a .dot space domain that they promoted. I'm sure we're going to see a bit more of that, where people use those those new TLDs as part of their promoting themselves to, to sort of stand out even more. But how much of an impact that will have, I've no idea so far. So um, if, uh, if anyone has other questions about uh, the .dot .no market and so on, just come and talk to us later. You can find me very easily. You don't see it so well on the, on the picture here, but my hair is very, very pink. Okay, <laughs> the lady me. with the pink hair, yes. <laughs> oh. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and we can sum the, the Nordic situation with that those five countries in total have 26 million population and uh, the total amount of registered domain names in the CCTLDs are together 3.8 million. And I estimate that totally registered, including legal C new GTLDs in the Nordic countries, is above 5 million domain names. Uh, I estimate it to 5.1 uh, million domain names, actually. So that was the Nordic. Uh, 